The most dangerous book on earth is the book of Al-Azif, after the book of Shams al-Marif, a book containing many hieroglyphs and incomprehensible languages, which the author claimed to be the languages of the jinn and ancient creatures. The book also contains many terrifying pictures, which the author says are real pictures of jinn and creatures that lived on earth before us. The book of Al-Azif is considered the most dangerous book ever written on earth, and also the most mysterious. Who is the author of the book Al-Azif? Whoever wrote this mysterious book is an Arab poet from Yemen, specifically Sana'a. Abdullah is called Al-Hazard, or the crazy Arab, as he was called, because he always claimed that he could see the impossible, and that he could know the history and narratives of the civilizations that lived on earth. It was believed that the earth before humans was inhabited by strange, savage creatures, and that these creatures would return and dominate the earth again. Al-Hadrad was born in 655 AD and died in 783 AD. Al-Hadhard was a poet and also worked in magic and charlatanism. What do I mean by the word Al-Azif? Anyone who is proficient in the Arabic language will know that the word Al-Azif means the sound of insects during the night. The reason for naming the book Al-Azif is that there was a widespread belief that the sound of insects at night was from the jinn. Al-Azif's book contains a lot of information and news about the world of jinn and demons with their amazingly strange forms. The book also talks about the frightening and real secrets in the world of spirits, jinn, and terrifying monsters. The names of the devils in the book Al-Azbaf, the author of the book Al-Azif, Abdullah Al-Hadrad, mentioned the existence of a powerful demon called Fala, who is a demon from the goblin family. He has a kind face with wings, and he rides on a frightening dragon. He has tremendous abilities to find hidden things, know the locations of treasures, and extract them. Al-Hadrad also mentioned that this imp was the one who offered to our master Solomon, peace be upon him, to bring the throne of Bilqis, queen of Sheba. The book of Al-Azif also talks about the existence of a race of demons called the Nazgu. She wears a black cloak, rides on a black horse, and is a powerful demon with great power. She dominates all the spirits on the African continent, whether from jinn or demons. Any magician, no matter how powerful his magic, can never bring her with Al, without offering her sacrifices. Al-Hazred's book, Al-Azif, also talks about a demon named Dago, who, being the king of demons, rules over a large number of demon tribes. It has a large, massive head and wings, and the distorted jinn who were expelled with the accursed Satan numbered twenty devils. They descended to earth, but they all perished in Noah's flood. Peace be upon him. The talisman is the greatest jinn that was given to Solomon. It is said that Al-Hadard lived in the desert of the empty quarter alone for ten whole years. During those years, he used to conjure jinn and demons and talk to them. It is also said that Al-Hadrid worshipped demons and offered sacrifices to them in order to learn from them matters of magic. The end of the ban was horrific and frightening, as it ended and he perished at the hands of a demon who appeared to him in the form of a terrifying monster and cut him into pieces.